over this past year, I decided to try out a few different languages on Duolingo. Out of all these languages, one of the easiest ones for me was Italian. The reason for this is because it was close to Spanish, <clears throat> a language I have learned in school. After reaching 100 days of learning the language, I decided to tell you a little bit about how Duolingo teaches this course, if you ever wanted to try it for yourself. As I stated before, Italian was an easier language to pick up language to pick up because of how similar it was to Spanish. This is because many European languages share the same roots of their origins in Latin. This can be seen in many similar sounding words across European languages, such as words having genders, like ending in A or O, or the large amount of European languages that have verb conjugation, I guess majority or whatever of them have verb conjugation, but mm, sorry, don't get me wrong. Spanish and Italian are not extremely close, but they do have many similar words and follow a few grammatical rules. And that was why I was able to pick it up easier. So how well does Duolingo teach Italian? By the time I decided to stop learning for a bit because school is back in session, I was able to reach section one, unit five. In the material provided in that part of the course, you learn a lot of things. It begins like most Duolingo languages do, telling you how to say things like I, you, man, woman, cat, dog, and probably one or two verbs, such as manja, or manja, and bebe, the eating, drinking, Duolingo teaches this course and many others by going over a part of the language in a section and then bringing up that part of the language, like maybe a grammar rule or something, in future lessons. For example, it will teach you early on that the word is is pronounced as A, like the first letter in the English alphabet. It looks like this. It will also teach you that non-A blank means that that blank is not something. For some reason, one of the most prominent sentences throughout this course is this one right here. Non è zucchero. Zucchero. I think it's zucchero. I was never good at the speaking lessons, but yeah. Non è zucchero. That means it is not sugar. I translated this sentence a lot. Like, a lot. Like, once every three to four lessons. Why is it so important to know how to tell somebody that something isn't sugar in Italy? Why? I think one of the worst parts of this course is that it didn't explain to me how the verb conjugation worked in this language. I was lucky enough to take Spanish back in school, so I knew what verb conjugation was, but if you didn't know about that, you would be left in the dark. Now, as I'm writing this script, Duolingo might offer you tips before you start your lessons, and now it will show you a verb conjugation chart in those tips, but this seems to be a new update I didn't have back in the beginning of 2023. Another thing this course did not explain to me is when to use the different thes. In case you didn't know, there are over seven different words for the in the Italian language. These include il, gli, o with an apostrophe, le, I think il maybe, e, i pronounced as e, la, and le. I'm sure there might be more, but I forgot while writing the script. Each of these has different circumstances for when to use them. Does the noun end with an O or an A? Is there a vowel as the first letter of the noun? Is the noun plural? 
I had to look up how all this stuff works instead of Duolingo teaching me this. A lot of this course is based around food and cooking. Apparently this is a big thing for many places in Italy, so it makes sense that this is here. There were two to three units in this course which did teach other things like grammatical rules and all that, but were constantly introducing new words for different foods. This isn't a bad thing though, it gives you time to learn the words before introducing you to a new one. Just know that by a hundred days of learning, most of the words you know will be about cooking. In conclusion, I would say that Duolingo's Italian course is somewhat solid, but does require other ways of learning along with the course. As a disclaimer, I am no professional in this kind of field, I am just a guy with a YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.